What's up everyone, it's Hayden from the Pop Culture Gamer podcast here and today I'm here with a little bit of retro stuff but new retro and it is an Evercade cartridge. So if you've not come across the Evercade before, this is a relatively new system. It's been out for about the last, say, three years or so. Um, and basically what it is, in a world where physical media is dying out, they are bringing back cartridges. Some people say that the cartridges are just fancy forms of USB sticks and that sort of thing, but they do have their own proprietary sort of interface. There have been people who have hacked this interface and have now made their own uh, cartridges. But if you uh, want to play on any of these, we do have a couple of videos on our uh, channel just showing the verses and also the handheld consoles. This here, this is the Evercade XP. It's the limited edition one in black. The normal version is in white. Um, but as you can see, there is a cartridge slot. And what they do is they do a variety of different sort of uh, cartridges. And this is one of the ones that they've got, the IREM uh, cartridge. All of the cartridges are numbered. So this is number seven in the uh, Evercade, but it's the Arcade range. There is also a burgundy sort of coloured box as well, or rather inlay, uh, which is more for your traditional older games, but also for some homebrew ones as well. So... Let's have a look and see what you actually get inside. And here it is. This is the cartridge. And as you can see, it really is a cartridge. If you uh, can see in there, there is all of the normal sort of connectors that you would expect. I've never opened up one of these, but I have seen them opened. Um, but this one is from uh, the IREM Arcade 1, and it has my all-time favourite arcade game, which is R-Type, and this is the only reason why I bought this. I know, yes, I know I can get this um, through a, a BIOS or a ROM or anything, but I'm not bothered about that. This is an officially licensed version of the product, so it's not pirateware in any sort of way. This is actually properly licensed. And the other nice thing about this uh, box, which obviously it shows you all of the games it's got, so we've got R-Type, we've got Moon Patrol, uh, we've got Battle Chopper, uh, In the Hunt, Lightning Swords and Ten Yard Fight. So on there, you know, there's six games. Some of the cartridges have 20 or more games in them as well. But the really nice thing about these is that they come with a, a little booklet. So we've got the contents about IREM. So it's saying that IREM began life as IPM International um, Playing uh, Machine Co. in 1974, with uh, co-founder uh, Kenzo Tsujimoto indulging his fascination for interactive games and hardware by building the installation video game machines. So it goes on into further in, uh, information. I mean, obviously I'd heard of our type. It, like I said, it is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, but the manual tells you details about the year released, who it did, what type of game it is, some general facts about it. It will play two player on the Versus console. So unlike the handheld console, which is like this one, or there is uh, also uh, the white version of this, and there is also uh, the older model as well. Uh, the Versus console, which is one that plugs into your TV, will actually play two player. It's got the controls uh, for everything as well. So attach and detach your ship and fire it and charge your weapons and your movement, inserting credits, starting game, pausing game, all of that. The different type of crystals that you can have, uh, the bits, the speeds, the missiles, the POW armor. Moon Patrol, again, it's got all of those sort of details in there as well. Uh, telling you more about the uh, game, the type of uh, things that you're going to fight against. Uh, In the Hunt, which is a great little submarine game. Um, again, you know, more details there and uh, lots of pictures as well. And then we've got Battle Chopper, which, to be honest, is sort of like basically like In the Hunt. 
Uh, and then we've got Lightning Swords, which is an all right sort of game. Um, I've played a little bit of it, not my bag. And Ten Yard Fight, I've not actually played, but not my type of thing as well. So as you can see from here, there is an awful lot of different Evercade uh, cartridges that you can access. And it's quite good the fact that they've got this in here because this does actually allow you to tick off all of the ones that you've uh, got. Uh, but also, I mentioned before about the uh, Versus. This is a Versus, this is a console that goes underneath your uh, TV. It outputs at 1080p as well. So all of the pixels, even though it's like 8-bit uh, or 16-bit uh, era games they do look absolutely crisp and lovely um, so that's that so to play the game all that you need to do is take your console and plug it in let's see how it goes
Okay, so now you've seen a little bit of gameplay footage. These cartridges retail anywhere from 15 to about 25 pounds. I think this one is presently being sold in the UK on uh, Amazon for 18 pounds. I will put uh, an affiliate link on Amazon so that you can actually get hold of this. Uh, but it is a great console. I'll also put a link in for where you can buy the console as well. There are different versions. Uh, what I would say is if you can get the latest version of the handheld or the Versus, that's the better one to go for. Uh, because the handheld also does come with 18 Capcom games that's built in for free. So that's uh, the, your look at all of these games. R-Type is an absolutely uh, fantastic game still. I still love that game uh, to absolute bits. Some of the games on here, it, it's not exact, some of them aren't exactly my uh, favourites. I'm not really bothered about 10 yard fight. I've never been really into American football. Lightning Swords is okay. I would give it a pretty much a three out of five. Uh, In the Hunt and Battle Chopper, very similar sort of games, apart from one with a submarine, one with a um, helicopter, but they're not bad uh, sort of shooters, even though you are required all the way through to keep point, uh, putting in their credits onto uh, your system. Moon Patrol is probably the second or third best game on here. Uh, maybe Battle Chopper and In the Hunt are sort of like equal. And then R-Type is definitely the standout game on this collection. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, we will be doing some more of these Evercade reviews. But this is the first one, and it is the Irem Arcade one collection and that's for the evercade handheld and vs console okay that's it for now don't forget to subscribe and then you will always be able to say i remember that i've got to subscribe thanks guys bye